What's up guys, Jake here. Today I'm back on the Chattahoochee River located in Columbus, Georgia. And today I'm gonna be scuba diving to help the police locate more weapons at the bottom of the river. My friends and I, we've done this in the past and found all types of weapons like pistols and even rifles. But today I wanna spend the entire day searching for more weapons at the bottom of the river to see what I can find. If you wanna see more videos like this in the future where I look for more guns out there in the river, drop a thumbs up on this video. If to support, maybe I'll travel to other locations as well and hunt for more weapons at the bottom of rivers. So, you know, my main goal today is to find a weapon, but I'm gonna keep my eyes out for all types of stuff. Anything that doesn't belong. So trash, lures, GoPros, iPhones, cool stuff like that. You know, maybe I'll get lucky, but with that said, let's go ahead and grab the scuba tank, put it on our back, jump on out there, and hopefully find some good stuff. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> and a whole fishing pole with a lizard on it. I'm gonna catch a fish. <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> That'd be so cool. Justin Bow here. Dude, look what I found! I found a gun! That's been out there forever, too! <laughs> I know, I was like, I was almost buried all the way. And I think there's a serial number right here. Like, it was like on the side of it. Like, you can just see the top. It was all kind of buried on the side. But I waved off all the stuff. But that's cool, right? All right, so we're back at the truck right now. We just got done scuba diving. I have some of my favorite finds laid out in the back of the tailgate here. Let me show you guys my favorite find of the day though, man. Check it out. I can't believe I found another pistol down there. I searched very hard for this and that was my goal today. And you know, honestly, if you put yourself in spots where you think you may find a weapon, you can very well do that. And with a scuba tank, I, you know, I was underwater for all day and I was able to find this, but it was almost buried completely. If I would have waited a few more months, sand could have covered the top and this could have been lost forever, but I found it, man. And uh, I'm excited to give the police a call to tell them that we found another gun at the bottom of the river. But what's special about this one, here on the back, there's number 741492. I believe that's the serial number to this pistol. So the, the police officers are gonna be able to track this weapon, see if it's been stolen or used in a crime, and they can link that to a possible criminal case. I know it's a 25 caliber, and you can tell that by right here. It says Cal 25 Auto, made in the USA, and it also says model MP25. If you guys know the name of this pistol, let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to look it up on Google and see what it looks like brand new. But the plan right now is to call the police, tell them that we found this firearm underneath the water while diving in the Chattahoochee and to see if they want to come by and pick it up. I almost forgot to tell you guys this, but also one of my other favorite finds I found today, I couldn't pull out of the river. It's too heavy. I actually found a safe right over there by the bridge. And if you guys want to see me try to retrieve that, drop a thumbs up on this video. I'll make a deal with you guys. If we can break over 10,000 likes on this video, I'll try to dive down and pull that whole safe out of the water to see if there's anything inside of that. So drop a thumbs up if you guys want to see that, but maybe we'll do that in the future. We're inside the truck right now about to call Columbus, Georgia Police Department and tell them that we found a firearm while diving in the Chattahoochee River. So from there, they're probably gonna have a police officer come by and we'll just hand over the weapon. We'll tell them where we found it, how we found it and then they can possibly use that in like an open criminal case in the future. But let's go ahead and give them a call. Dear services. Uh, hey, how you doing? My name's Jake. Uh, I found a farm while diving in the Chattahoochee River and I want to hand it in to the police. All right, um, I'll transfer you to the dispatcher and they'll send an officer to meet you. Sounds great, thank you, sir. Public safety, Leah speaking. Uh, hi Leo, my name's Jake. I found a weapon while diving in the Chattahoochee River and I want to hand it over to police. Okay, you found it in the river? Yes ma'am, I was scuba diving. Alright, where are you at now? Uh, the Whitewater Express parking lot. Alright, and what's your callback number? 714. Okay, and what kind of clothing do you have on? Uh, I have like a camo wetsuit on. <laughs> I'll just be waiting by my truck, so I'm in a Ford F-150 and there's scuba tanks on the side of it with a big stand-up paddleboard on top. Alright, we'll get somebody out to you, okay? Thank you so much. You're welcome. Bye-bye.
You know, it's always really cool to call the police. Sometimes you have like some funny reactions, but that was pretty straightforward. But yeah, the plan right now is to sit here, wait for the police officer to come by, and then we'll hand over that weapon to him. <laughs> hey, where did you find it? Uh, this one was, you know where that? Was it like adjacent to the splash pad? No, so this one's gonna be, that was the other one. This one's gonna be, you know where the, uh, the rafts come out of the river? Uh, I could take you to it if you want. Like over here by? No, it's gonna be down there. You know where the bridge is right here? Yeah. A little bit past the bridge oh, and there's a boat perfect. ramp. Yeah, someone walked up on a boat ramp, I think threw it in. So, yeah. Cool. You mean down by Rotary Park? That no, far down? It would be like, like you see the bridge right here? Uh-huh. I mean, yeah, not Dillingham. much past it. Yeah, the Dillingham Bridge, not much past it, and then there's a boat ramp. Hey, that might be the same one. Oh, we got two. Yeah, it might be the same one. It's a, it's an old one. Though. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's old? old? Yeah. Someone uh, lose one over here? Uh, kind of. I'll go find it for you. Yeah, I was actually, I was going to message you on Face. I mean, on uh, YouTube and be like. Right off the bat, you said, that might be the one we're searching for. Mm. So that might be the weapon I found that they've been searching for. That I had no clue, but this might be a different one, too. I tried to be very careful. There's a serial number on it though. But it does look a little older. Oh yeah, that's definitely not gonna be it. Not gonna be it? It's gonna be in the water for a little bit longer. Did you try to clear it? Dude, no. it's caked full of Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. It was almost buried all the way. You yeah. have to be careful with this one. <laughs> What's y'all's next step? Turn it in, see if we can get a serial number on it, and uh, yeah. So we just handed the weapon over to the police officers. They're so nice, man. I had a great time, and like these are by far some of the nicest ones I've met. And what they were telling me, uh, they actually ran the numbers on that, that weapon that I found, and they said it came back as stolen. So that's pretty cool to know, like it was a stolen weapon and we found it. It's been down there for a long time, but on a side note too, they actually told me, like I heard them talking back and forth, asked them about like what's going on, and they said that they actually had an altercation here a, a couple days ago, two days ago and they believe someone threw a weapon in a river and they thought I found that weapon but that one's a little bit older than the one that happened you know that threw in a couple days ago so with that said I'm gonna try to find that weapon for them and maybe tomorrow we'll come out here and scan the whole river to see if I can get lucky and find that for them and help their job out but I had a great time today man I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future drop a thumbs up on this one hit the support or go out and look for more firearms in the water also don't forget to subscribe if you guys are new I'd love for you guys to join me on my next adventure we're closing in on 10 million subscribers which is just absolutely insane I really do appreciate that you guys but with that said, I'll see you on the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching.